Welcome back, you guys. My name is Camel Boy. Today's game, we're going to be playing. It's called Pokemon Scarlet. And I really, really don't know what's going on. Like, there's time travel, robotic moms, and I just don't understand what's going on. Like, there's future Pokemon, and there's prehistoric Pokemon. It's just really weird. Like, my ride Pokemon is a future or a... Past Pokemon, I'm not really getting what's going on, but I can go and at least go and look around this area, see what I need to do, and have it be done, I guess. Like, I want to make sure... Hey! I don't know why it was stuck, but yeah, I would... Oh! Okay, so I should wait right here just so then I can do this. I don't really want to alarm. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to. Good thing that I have a carnivore and everything. Good thing that I have my carnivore because without my carnivore, I probably would not be doing this well. Of course, accidental um, Pokemon battle. But at least I do have my carnivore, a very strong Pokemon that can take out a lot of the other Pokemon that I don't really want to be. I really don't want to be in the battle, so using my Garnivore actually speeds it up a little bit, so then I don't have to worry. But I will be around here going and leveling up my Pokemon, especially my Garnivore, just because I really do need to. And before anything, I want to make sure that, do I have any rare candies? Do I have any? Yes, I do. And why can't I press the right button? I don't know, but let's use the rare candy on... Um, yeah, I would like to use my rare candy on my Pyroar, and I should, uh... Can't use any of these feathers on my Pokemon right now. Just can't. And anything else that I can use, or no... Doesn't really look like I can use any of these. Like, I really don't know what the Terra Shards are for. Like, if you guys know, I would like to know, please, because I, I really don't know. And it's a little... Oh, seriously? Now you start talking? The minute that I want to level up my Pokemon, I, you guys start talking. Okay. Makes sense. But I really have no idea what's going on. Like, I get they're probably telling us what's going on and they're talking and discussing what's going on but this is just weird and everything like I really don't understand what's going on with the um, robotic Pokemon the robotic parent the future and past Pokemon I just don't understand what's going on and I was not meaning to run into a battle right now I was not meaning to do that but if I have to, I have to, but at least I'm glad that my Pokemon are almost at a level 100, so that means that any of the combat is not going to be too much. Like, I'm not going to get too damaged or hurt that in a way to where I'm going to have my Pokemon faint. And anyway, I can, I do have enough heal items, so then I can just go and do that, so that's at least a good thing. I'm glad that I do have enough heal items and enough things here and there that make it possible for me not to, like, get hurt. That is also a very, very good thing because, yeah, I just really don't. And, um, if I fall down, am I gonna be able to or am I not? I'm not gonna do that just so then it doesn't teleport me back up. But I do have to send up my... Really? Can you please... Attack, am I even getting close to the bottom of this yet? Because it feels like I am not. But at the same time, I must be because I am continuously going downward. And it really does feel like I am. But at the same time, not. Like, I am glad that I am getting... Okay, so that that's what I need to do. Okay, so I'm guessing that these buildings over here are going to be like... I'm guessing that that's the time machine. I'm gonna get that that's the time machine, I guess. And I'm gonna assume that if I fall down anywhere else, I'm gonna be teleported back up, I guess. So actually walking down here actually did do something. So that's at least a good thing. So I want to make sure that what I am doing is good. And I want to make sure that my, my Pokemon are 
good and healthy and make sure that I have them at a good level and I do so I yeah they're all at like 90 or 91 so yeah that actually does help so I just have to press that last button and I should be able to go I just have to hit that last button and I should be ready to go and I oh what's happening I really don't know what I'm going to be finding. I really hope that I... I'm going to go and make... Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to do that. I'm going to make a save point right here just so then if anything happens, I want to make sure that I have done it. I don't know what I'm going to be finding when I press this button, but I do have to press the button at some point because if I don't, then I'm not going to progress, and I do want to progress and see what's going on. Yes, I do want to open it, and I do want to see the Pokemon that are in there.
Okay, so we're gonna fight the Pokemon that we have already encountered before and everything. Makes sense, makes sense. So it's not gonna be like too dangerous to do because I do have Garnivore, very strong Pokemon, have already taken out these Pokemon, so not gonna be too troubling. So that that is cool. Interesting design like I get that that's a Pokemon from the past so that's cool and Okay, so nothing's gonna be really strong against this Pokemon. So um, Let me use this to see if it works if it does it does if it doesn't okay, so it does Very easy to take out with my um, Garnivore so I'm glad that I do have a Garnivore on my team and everything because it really does help. It really does help having a Garden of War on my team. I really thought that this Pokemon was a Pokemon that we have already seen within Pokemon, but apparently this Pokemon is a past Pokemon, I guess, so I'm gonna have to take it out. Not gonna be easy just because basically that other Pokemon, the Pokemon from the past, is a um, psychic Pokemon and Gardevoir is a psychic Pokemon too, so they're basically evil when they match and everything, but with his help. I defeated it really well, apparently. Or we defeated it really well. That is a really good thing. Okay, so going into the scary machine, I don't know what I'm going to be finding, but I'm going to have to go in here and find what I'm going to have to be finding. Um, okay. I am going to save at this point just because I don't know what I'm going to be finding. And yeah, I want to make sure that if I do anything, it's going to be good. I want to make sure that everything is in line and I have everything good. Because I want to make sure that I can do this. I want to make sure that I can do this. I don't know what I'm going to be finding, but I want to make sure that I can do this.
Um, why does she want the time machine stopped? Like, it's not doing any harm and everything. And if it is, then basically, yes, I get stopping it if it's doing harm. But it it's bringing to the present Pokemon that can actually be good and everything. Like, yes, we have to study them and everything. But Pokemon nowadays can take care of those other Pokemon. So I don't get it. Like, why stop the... T oh! Okay, so I've done that, and now I want to make sure that I go and look around. And, um... Okay, so now let's continue.
So basically, I need to stop all of this and make sure that that this AI can go and destroy it. Okay, makes sense, I guess. So it's my choice if I want to do this or not. Am I able to just leave the area or what? Because if I can just leave the area, then that's going to be interesting. Oh, so I can just leave the area and I can not do this and everything. Is this basically the end of this game and everything? Because if so, then that makes sense. So before anything, I would like to, if I can... Is there a way of, like, resting or something? Like, okay, so I would like to rest a little bit. And yes, I would like to lie down, rest my Pokemon, and everything. Just so then I have a checkpoint. My Pokemon are full of energy, and I now can do this. Like, I want to make sure that what I am doing is good. And that my Pokemon are fully healed, and their stats are able to take out whatever is going to happen. So, am I gonna fight future po- Okay, so future Pokemon are coming to the present, or our present, and everything. They're going from their present to our present, and everything. Okay, makes sense. And of course, good thing that I have leveled up, and I have done what I need to do, so... I just wanna check, is any of my Pokemon strong, or... Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna fight and do what I need to do, and it's not gonna be hard because I'm level 90. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, apparently. Okay, okay, I don't really care right now. I just want to defeat you at the moment, so if I can do that, then I would like to. So I would like to, um... Yeah, I would like to not use that right now, and I would like to just use my normal attack, because... Wow, I did not realize it was going to be this difficult.
just want to give all my Pokemon a chance, and if I have to, I I will use my Garnivore because I know my Garnivore is the strongest Pokemon on my team, other than my Lucario. My Lucario and my Garnivore are the two strongest on my team, so that's really cool. Okay, so it's gonna bring out Pokemon that I've already fought. So oh, the robot is gonna be able to do that and everything because of the time machine working and everything. So that's cool. Okay, so thank you. Um, let's keep my um, Lucario out. I don't know what I'm gonna be finding, but okay, so it's still the same type of Pokemon and everything. So not too much, not too much of in danger. Not meaning I'm not in danger, of course. Don't know why I can't speak, but I can't. Okay, so I would. Um, yeah, let me keep my gun of my Lucario out because I don't know what this robot. Okay. That is, I guess, an ancient Pokemon or a future Pokemon. I'm not really sure, but wow. Um, yeah. Um, let's do Bone Rush to see what that does. I'm gonna use Bone Rush to do. Please be. Uh, okay, so only twice, of course. Wow, fire! I did not know that an electric Pokemon could do fire. Um, okay, I guess. So, um, let's do Aura Spear. Let's do Aura Spear to see if that does anything. And it does. Thank you. What? Okay, I'm gonna see now. Scream Tail? Um, I don't know what that is, but I would like to, um, yeah, let's go and take out my Tessarina. And let's see if Tessarina can take out this next Pokemon. I don't know what the next Pokemon is going to be, but I'm going to go and send out my Tessarina. Okay, okay. Screamtail is basically this Jigglypuff. Of course it is. I don't know who Roaring Moon is, but I'm gonna guess it's... Oh! Okay! Um... That is... Something? Is this like the final Pokemon or what? Yeah, this it seems like the final Pokemon, so I should Terra... Terra Orb up and do, um... Let's do Moonblast while using the Terra Orb, because I... I do want to do this so then Garnivore does not faint and I can still use Garnivore for anything else that happens. Okay, so that was a good idea to do. That was a very, very good idea to do because losing this battle would not be a good idea.
Um, I'm gonna guess that I need to get my ride Pokemon because that's the only Pokemon that I can use, I guess. Okay, so this is the only Pokemon that I can use. No, duh. And I'm gonna have to fight the other Pokemon. And I guess, yeah, I, I guess that the Pokemon was gonna be at a level cap. I didn't say anything like that, but I actually thought that when fighting with my ride Pokemon, it would be capped at a certain level, and you actually have to go and go use your wits on how to do this. Like, you can't use over-leveled Pokemon. You actually have to use a level that is allowed during this fight. So, let's see how I can actually do this. Let's see how I can actually do this. Wow! That's not a lot of damage. I'm not really sure if I'm doing this at all right. Like, I am not really sure if I'm doing this right, but I do have a lot of potions and a lot of healing stuff, so that actually does help. So if anything happens, I can at least heal. So it's not like I'm in danger or anything. It's just I really don't know how to do this any other way other than just trying everything. So I really hope that I am able to do this first try. I know I am, just because I do have um, the ability to go and heal my Pokemon so... Hey! Glad that I have the healing items. Good thing that I have the healing items. Because, wow, this is not looking good. So I need to... Um, yeah, I would like to use my Hyper Potion, please, and I would like to heal my Pokemon! Um, oh, okay, so I can use that, and let's see what happens now that I use my Terra Orb and everything. Let's see what happens when I use my Terra Orb on my right Pokemon. A Pokemon that I have yet to ever see in battle, or to see Terra Orb in any fashion. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so I am still taking damage, but I can do this. I know I can. 
I just have to slowly get there. Slow and steady will win. Oh! Okay. I did not know that's what Terra Blast does. That is really, really cool. So I'm guessing that Terra Blast is basically a normal move until you Terra Orb your Pokemon, and once you Terra Orb your Pokemon, that move turns into its strongest attack. That's cool.
Okay, so I technically had to not show the credit sequence because it had a song at the end. Like, I don't know if I'm allowed to show that, so I'm just skipping it. Like, I don't know if it's uh, allowed within the policy of what I can show, so I just skipped it and everything. So, I am really glad that there is more because it shows that there is extra content after going and completing the game. That is really cool, and I really did love this game from every part that I didn't like to every part that I did like, and I like how, yes, there's still the time machine that they can reactivate if they go and reconfigure it a little bit from, like, the ID card. Like, unless they figure out how to dismantle it immediately before anyone figures out how to replace the ID card and everything. Yeah, they should really do that. Because replacing the ID card can reactivate the time machine. So, yeah. But I still am wondering what's going to happen with the ancient Pokemon and the future Pokemon. Like, it are they going to come and now live within the society of the world now? Or are they going to live in the... In the ground zero area for now on or like what's going to happen with that but I won't know any of that I don't know if it's going to be explained or what but I am getting a phone call so I'm gonna go and see what's going on Okay, so I'm gonna have to go, and I'm guessing that this is the final day of school and everything, so I'm gonna go, and right now, before... Oh! Um... Okay, so I'm able to... Yeah, yeah, I... Oh, so I can change it to battle form and everything, so it's now able to be battle ready, so when I go and... That is cool, but I am going to save the journey so far just because of what I did and everything. So, I am, I loved this game, and if the other game is exactly like this in the story, like the other Pokemon game, then I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be playing that in my free time. I do know that there are slight differences, so that is something. So, anyway, let's just go do what I was told to do and everything so um where do i need to go okay i need to go to the director's office and let's do what we need to do here Now I get a Master Ball and everything, so I had to wait until the end of this game to finally get the Master Ball. So then, if I go and find a Legendary Pokemon, I'm now able to go and catch it and everything. Like, there is a lot of Pokemon I have yet to see because I have not done a lot in this game. Like, I've done the story bits, but searching and looking around and doing stuff, I have yet to do and everything. Like, I have battled a lot of Pokemon, but I have yet to 
really experience what this island and place has to offer, so... With this Master Ball, at least I can go and now do what I need to do, I guess.
So, is that it? Is that pretty much it that I do now? And I'm now able to... Um, entrance hall, and is that it? Because if so, then... That, this was a really cool game. I'm just gonna say that. Like, I I don't usually complete Pokemon games or anything. Like, I play them a little bit, but I never really complete them. And by completing this one, I I am now really eager to see what is next in the Pokemon thing. Like, like what's the next Pokemon game? Because I do wonder if they're gonna keep the same way the leveled up you're able to level up Pokemon in this game, in the next game. I really hope so, because that would be really cool. Because leveling up your Pokemon normally is not something that I really like doing. Like, I normally do not like leveling up Pokemon one Pokemon at a time and everything. So, yeah, I am just glad that... Oh! So, um... I'm able to battle the gym leaders again? I don't know what that's going to entail, but I'm going to guess that by doing that, I get something else or more story. So I'm going to guess that I'm going to go and try to do that next episode. I did not realize that I was going to do more. I was just checking the map to see if there was anything more for me to do. And apparently there is. So I am excited to see what next I can do like I do know that I can go and do like the downloadable content and do the DLC and everything and all that but I'm just excited on what the battling of the gym leaders are now gonna entail and everything like I am really excited but I really wonder if if the robot actually burned the book or got rid of the book somehow because if someone found the book went into lab zero and activated the time machine they could reactivate what was going on or what about the time machine getting a new lock and everything like a new id and everything like couldn't they just do that or what's going to happen to the time machine now like it doesn't make sense in that way like, like the, they're just leaving the time machine down there and they're leaving the Pokemon that were already taken from the past and future and leaving them down there too. So, I don't get it. But anyway, this was a fantastic game. I didn't like certain aspects of it, but that's just me. If it was a little bit more clearer in certain areas and did what it was supposed to say for me to do, like, I didn't know that I needed to do Team, Team Star or the um, Path of Legends. Like, I didn't know that I was supposed to do the Path of Legends or Team Star. If I did, I would have done them when I needed to, not after doing the gym leader battles and everything. Because after doing the gym leader battles and fighting the Elite Four of this region, I thought that was all I needed to do to get to the end and everything. But at least now I know, so next time if I ever do replay this game, I at least now know to do that, so that's a good thing that I now know, so that is really cool, but I just am, I can't wait for what's next and everything, like I hope they keep the same feel of this game and they allow you to level up your Pokemon by just battling with one Pokemon, because that actually made it more enjoyable instead of having to take out the Pokemon that you actually wanted to level up and everything, because Leveling up your Pokemon one at a time, it's not something that I actually like doing and everything. Leveling up your Pokemon one at a time is not something that I like doing and it's just something that I just don't. But anyway, I am just going to leave this episode here and I am just going to go see ya! Like the video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give a boy the subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next one.